In this video we're looking at conventions for labelling the sides and angles of triangles. Let's get straight into it. Here we have a triangle. It's got vertices A, B and C. Remember vertices is just the plural of a vertex and that is a vertex, that is a vertex and that is a vertex. We also have sides or edges of this triangle. A triangle has got three of those there's one, there's two, and there's the third. Now, what we want to do is name this triangle using its vertex labels. Now, to name a triangle, what we normally do is start on a vertex, let's say that one there, and go anti-clockwise around the triangle and just list all of the vertices we get without repeating. So if we started there, we would get A, B, C, and we'd be back to where we started. So we could call this triangle ABC. Now, we don't have to call it ABC. We could have called this triangle BCA. We could have started at B and gone anti-clockwise like this. B, C, A, and we're back to B. So you could have said BCA, or we could have started at C and gone anti-clockwise. C, A, B, back to C. That gives us the triangle. C, A, B. Question two. Which angle is 90 degrees? Now, we have a special symbol for 90 degree angles, and it is this. It looks like a square. We only use this symbol when we're sure we have a 90 degree angle, otherwise known as a right angle. So this is the angle that is 90 degrees, but we need to give this angle a name. Now, you might be tempted to call this angle A, but that's not actually correct. A is not the angle, it's not the measure of turn, it's actually a point, it is the vertex, it is that corner of the triangle. To name this angle, what we're going to do is highlight the two sides of the triangle that form the angle. That is this side here and this side here. Those two sides form the right angle. Then what we do is simply read off the three vertex labels in order. We've got C, A, B. But we don't just write C, A, B because that could get confused with the name of the triangle. Remember, we saw earlier that we might call the triangle C, A, B. So what we do instead is use a special symbol to show we're talking about an angle. And that is this symbol here. So I'm interested in the angle, that's this symbol, C, A, B. Now, normally we like going anti-clockwise around a shape, so CAB is correct. Some people think you can call this angle here BAC, but it's probably safer just to work anti-clockwise. The important thing to note is that the vertex where the angle actually is, is the one in the middle of your name. So CAB, A is where the angle actually is located. Before we move on to question three, here's a quick practice question for you. What do we call this angle here? Hopefully you've worked out the answer. You can see that this angle is between this side here and this side here. And going around anti-clockwise, you can see that we would call this one angle B, C, A. So that one there is angle B, C, A. And notice the angle is located at vertex C and C is the one that's in the middle here. And just another bit of practice on angle naming. What is the name of this angle here? Hopefully you've worked out the answer. This time the angle is in between this side here and this side here. Going around in an anti-clockwise direction, you'll see that we call this angle A, B, C. So this angle is angle A, B, C. Notice the angle is at vertex B and B is the letter that is in the middle of this name. Okay, let's move on to question three. It's asking, 
which edge is six centimeters? Well, this is the edge or side that is six centimeters. And the way we name edges or sides of a shape is simply by using the endpoints, the two vertices that it joins. So this one here joins A and C. So we could call this AC or we could call it CA. It doesn't really matter. Moving on to question four. Do the above questions have more than one answer? Well, we've seen question one has three correct answers. We could call it ABC, BCA or CAB. Now, some people might argue that there are three more. Why can't we also have ACB, BAC and CBA? In other words, going clockwise around the shape. And some people will argue that you can, but convention means that we normally do these anti-clockwise. And the same idea comes into play for question two. That angle there is CAB. We normally work anti-clockwise. So CAB gives us that angle in there. Some people might argue that BAC also gives you a name for this angle, but we normally prefer to work anti-clockwise. And the only way BAC can be anti-clockwise is if that is part of some other shape. For example, it's part of a shape that looks something like this. And BAC going anti-clockwise would actually give us this reflex angle out here. So according to that convention, angle BAC is not the 90 degree angle, which means the only correct way to name the 90 degree angle in this triangle is angle CAB. And for question three, is there more than one correct answer? Yes, we can call this AC or CA. Let's move on to the second set of questions. This time we're looking at a different triangle. Pause the video and have a go at these for yourself. Here's what you should have found. Question five, which edge is nine centimetres? Well, there were two possible answers you could have written. You don't need them both, you just need one. We can call this edge here, the nine centimetre one, PQ or QP. In question six, we have to name the 50 degree angle. That is this angle here. Now going in an anti-clockwise direction, you'll see we have to start at P. So this angle here is angle P, Q, R. Don't forget the angle symbol. There it is, P, Q, R. And notice that the middle letter there is Q. That is where the angle is actually located. For question seven, we're looking at the 60 degree angle. That's this one here. It's between this side here and this side here. Going round in an anti-clockwise direction, you'll see we're going to start by calling this R, P, Q. R, P, Q. Don't forget the angle symbol. There it is, angle R, P, Q. That's the 60 degree angle in the shape. Finally, question eight, do the above questions have more than one correct answer? Well, only in the case of question five, we could have called this edge here, PQ or QP, both were acceptable, but the angle names had to be PQR and RPQ, because remember, we always try to name angles going in an anti-clockwise direction.